Welcome back to my morning report. Charles Price is on Wednesday, the 1st of June, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Antip Markets. Let's look at dollar yen. And we've seen this sort of corrective move in the last couple of days, haven't we? Uh, we saw the breakout of uh, the move above uh, all the big key resistance levels, and it's just started to turn around again. But the, that, big, that breakout didn't quite make it above the, the big April highs. Um, so you'd still argue that it didn't quite confirm the sort of uh, strong dollar move and subsequently we've seen actually a, con uh, a correction um, because the breakout sort of hit 11.43 uh, and then subsequently has unwound quite strongly and again today um, sort of 180 ticks at the lowest um, and it's sort of completely unwound it but it hasn't yet broken the sequence of higher lows you sort of got uh, over the past sort of couple of weeks, um, well, month actually, throughout May, you saw this sequence of higher lows coming through. 109.50 was a big, uh, was a big level that held, and that is your that has again been a support that's, that's held overnight. So that is your initial line of support. If you start losing 109.50, then that is um, sort of storing up problems, I think. But um, the big reaction though is 109.10 which was that low from the 23rd. Um, but for now, you still could argue that this is just a correction within the sequence of higher lows. But you certainly do need to see that support holding on because uh, you've got this RSI which came back to 30. That's pretty similar to what we saw in the in that 23rd of May low, isn't it? back to 30 then and but then just turned round again so you'd need to see an improvement back higher you'd want to see that RSI back above sort of 46 uh, on the hourly chart which is seems to be a bit of a pivot near term so if you start seeing it through that 46 level then that would be considered to be um, sort of a, a positive signal um, but for now, I think, um, you, as I said, you're still running these high lows. Momentum indicators just ticking lower. You've got the stochastics, which have just rolled over. Um, maybe that's an early signal for fatigue. Um, but RSI is still above 50. MACD lines above neutral. So it's uh, a little bit mixed of the outlook. Bit of a bit of a sort of a, a move that's muddied the waters somewhat. But um, as I said, if you hold above 109.50. Uh, then uh, you're still intact on the move higher. So I wish you good luck in your trading on Dolly N, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you.